My name is Elisa Murphy and I studied abroad in Peru last summer. My name is Jennifer Connor. I study material science and engineering and I studied abroad in Shanghai, China. My name is Cameron Carr. I'm studying sustainability and I went to Monteverde, Costa Rica. My name is Jacob Janizek. I study digital culture with a concentration in media processing and I studied abroad in Wellington, New Zealand. My name is Delaney Kranz. I double major in computer science and English literature and I studied abroad in Brighton, England. Hi, my name is Brielle. I'm a senior um, at the Walter Cronkite School of Journalism. I major in broadcast journalism um, and I studied abroad in Cape Town, South Africa, Paris, France, Rome, Italy, and London. I really liked going into the rural indigenous parts of Peru and teaching the people there, the community members, about basic healthcare topics that we in the U.S. know and you know we take for granted sometimes. And so that was probably my most favorite and rewarding part of studying abroad. So my favorite part about studying abroad was that I got to um, apply everything directly to my major because my major is sustainability and my minor is Spanish and I was in Costa Rica. So I got to practice using my Spanish. Um, everything that we learned we got to go out and see in the field. One of the things I really enjoyed was learning more about my home country, the United States, while abroad and finding out what other people think and their experiences with our country as well. So for me, I went on an exchange program, and so that taught me a lot of independence as a person, and so that was really awesome to be able to be that independent and um, figure out how to basically get stuff done. It also really helped me learn about the different realities that there are across, um, across the globe. Uh, when I was in Cape Town, um, obviously we were learning so much about apartheid, their um, the separation of the races, and to see that that kind of clash in real time, it just really opens your eyes to um, what other people are experiencing across the world. I got to do an internship that taught me that I was really um, passionate about environmental education. Um, so I think like professionally that was really cool for me to like learn that about myself. And I went abroad uh, just because I wanted to learn Chinese. I took no science, no math. It was like a great break and I went in having 102 credit from ASU and when I came out I tested 394. No matter what your major is, like when you go abroad you're going to learn irreplaceable soft skills, confidence, independence, adaptability. You can't plan for the unexpected and especially when you're traveling things come up that you never expect uh, and being able to adapt to that and overcome any of those problems is something that I definitely uh, gained the ability to do better. I felt like I had to go abroad. I mean, South Africa, France, Rome, all in one semester, so 18 weeks. Um, it, I just think it was an opportunity I just could not pass up. I'm from Phoenix, so I've been here all my life, and I just am in this little Phoenix bubble. I knew I needed to have, I like, I had to get out to see the world. But the real reason why. I really wanted to go and it was because it was a service learning based study abroad which meant we would go out and like work with the people there in the country. I actually got hit by a car my freshman year um, and that was kind of like a, a wake up call I guess that like life is short and so I, that, that was when I was like you know what I, I need to do, do this now. If you study abroad, it really helps you figure out the best version of who you are and who you want to become, and you can work with that to really be the best version of you that you can be. It just allows for opportunities to meet people that, like, from all over the world, and then just learn about places that it's it's just great. Studying abroad is just so fun. It's just <laughs> so fun. Like, you should definitely go. You'll love it. Like, you'll have the best memories ever. You just have to go and experience it and you'll understand why we're all so excited. I can't tell you how many adults have heard about what I did and they're like, God, I wish I did that. <laughs>